Are you tired of the same old teams going to the same old playoffs to play each other in the same old series? Are you tired of superstars like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry hogging all of the airtime during the NBA Finals? Well, this video might be for you. Now, you must be thinking, how is this possible? How can we balance out the greatest super team of the 21st century as well as the greatest player of all time? Well, we found a way. Okay, everybody. So, let's preface this a little bit. Last night, <laughs> Noah tweeted at me actually about 9.30 this morning. He tweeted, and I quote, Hot take. The NBA should be a 15-team league. Have rosters with more talent, get different teams to the finals, and see all-stars in their prime with other all-stars, and not on a team with bums. And I replied to you with, Dang, I wish there was a way that we could do that on 2K. Well, instead of coming into work today, we figured out a way to get it to work on 2K. So let's, uh, let me show you what I did here. So we're gonna go, right now, as you can see in the top right, I'm controlling every team, right? Uh, yeah. Because I got all the power. We got all the power here. So we're gonna go team stats here. Let's take a look. So what I did, I took <laughs> 15, the top 15 biggest markets, biggest market teams, right? So you'll, you'll figure out which ones they are as we continue to go through. And I, I did a fantasy draft, right? And I took each individual team. And if they're a good team, I took the top player that was available. And if they're a bad team, they took the worst <laughs> available person. <laughs> I put all the good teams on one side of the conference. So now we have a league of 15 teams. All of them are super overpowered. So right now, let me, let me just preface some of the teams here. So we got the 76ers minus the process. We got John Wall, got Tim Hardaway Jr. And of course you can probably switch Valanchunas or Cousins down to the four to buy us to the three. So you've got a pretty good lineup right yeah. here. So you also have Nurkic Dirk on the team. You the have bench. you have Dirk in his last year. You got Rodney Hood, you uh, got Sabonis. The the Gortat. You got the I forget the Polish the Polish hammer, right? I don't know. I guess what he is. <laughs> So you got a pretty decent team here. See, you got the Bucks. Now this is an example of a oh, team that's got the other half. Gershon is starting at their power forward. So yeah. yeah, they got Yasuble. They have Semej Kriston. They got uh, Trey Mc... And as you can see, it just gets about worse and worse oh, as we go Plumlee. on. They do have... They have Marshall Plumlee. That's uh, not, the, not good, the good Plumlee. None, none of the good Plumleys are on this team. So you got the oh, Bulls. Okay. The so, Bulls yeah, got pretty, pretty bad. good. They're looking pretty bad. So they got Steph. They got Bradley Beal. They got they got broken mellow, but it's okay. <laughs> Number forty one. <laughs> um, they'll probably move uh, Vucevic down to the four, bring Market in off the bench, and then they got Jalen Brown, Brown, Lonzo Ball, they, and Jonathan Simmons. They got a pretty good team, and then yeah, they got people. Bench. Yeah, they got people that will eventually upgrade too. Cleveland right. did not get good. I found out they're like twenty third in the, in the biggest size. market. They got Harry Giles. And Michael Carter Williams. <laughs> it's not bad. Um, everybody else, not really. They got the other Teague. Um, they didn't really do that well. Uh, a couple other. See some more big teams here. Gordon Hayward ended up back on the Celtics. Uh, we got Blake Griffin. And we got Joel Embiid. Ooh. Which is pretty good. And we got Tyreek Evans for. Uh, and he, you know, he's actually really good in this game. Jeff Green is back. Uh, we got Kelly Oubre, which is interesting because he actually he's we actually gross. hate him. He's gross. As Celtics fans, we are supposed to hate him. Uh, the Clippers got a pretty good lineup. They uh, they got Jordan back. They got LeBron. Uh, they got D'Angelo Russell. Not, not the LA Austin. Need to to. I know he, he went to the wrong LA. They got, they got Brogdon and Dunn coming off the bench. Grizzlies did not get a good shake. Ooh. The Hawks actually got a really good shake. They got Donovan Mitchell. And they got Dame. Josh. And they got the Alex Len. <laughs> oh wow! Um, now, see, this is probably gonna be the. This would probably be like the 14. This might 13, be 14, 15. Season. This might be the worst best team. Yeah. In the It'd game. Starting Josh, Josh Jackson. Uh, Miami, Charlotte. This is a nice little like list of just teams who didn't get. It. And then we got the Knicks. We got Lynn oh, Sanity Jeremy back. Back in, his back in the Knicks. city. We got Dwayne Wade, Paul George. Anthony Davis. Oh, see, that's a good team right there. Marcus Bosch without blood clots. <laughs> no, but I don't know how he's still in this game. 
I'm surprised he didn't draft Paul Pierce in all of this. I think he's in like 72 overall or something in the, in the game. So he didn't get him. And then they got like Miritich and Gordon. Uh, they got Booty Monroe. Oh, Kelly. They got Noel if he decides to, if his coach lets him play. <laughs> um, the Lakers, uh, they did okay. They got kind of, Robert Covington's good. And he'll he'll go up in time. They got Jimmy Butler. Mm -hmm. They got Dario. They got Cat. They have Drew, who's on a really good good tear right they have now. Buddy healed. Yeah, they do have Buddy Heald. They got some good people. They got Iggy. That's not that bad. The Magic got screwed. Mavericks are like top five, I think. Actually. Kevin Love. Uh, Mike Conley. They got Giannis. No, I'm in top five market in general. Oh, okay. But not no, they're not okay. that good. They got Giannis, they have Connolly's gross contract, Kevin Love. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> you got Kyle Quinn at the center. Uh, oh, they have, IT's going to the IT coming off the bench. They got, got one JJ of the Morrises. Correa. They got JJ back and Pat Bev. Uh, the Nets, Brooklyn, Ooh, you know, because they're in New York, they have a, a big market. A small ball team, it looks like, but yeah. they look pretty offensive. They got Kyrie, Oladipo. Jonathan Isaac. You got Kemba Walker. Too. You got Kemba coming off the bench. You have Gordon, the sixth man, oh, is now the seventh man. Terry got the seventh man now. <laughs> Scary Terry. And Seth Curry. And the better Curry. All coming here. Denver got nothing. Indiana got nothing. New Orleans got nothing. Detroit. Oh. Barely that's... made it in as 15. Really? They were on the edge. And you know how much money Detroit has. That's what yeah, that's, that's what throws me off. Uh Chris Paul, Clay Thompson. Uh they got they got Steve Adams, that's Kyle a Lowry. Good team. Kyle will probably digress after a few years anyways. So the Raptors, they got no point guard, surprisingly. <laughs> so they have to get Shabazz Napier. They'll, they'll LeBron move, would love that. They'll to the point so he can get his assists up. <laughs> probably. I Actually, they would move Harden down. They move Wiggins down. They move Collins down. And then they'd put Horford in. But they got they got some pretty good big men Otto Porter, okay. out of this. They got Harrison Barnes and his Grody contract. Grody contract. Jonas Yarko. They got Jonas. Um, Wait, what the what, what markets in Toronto? What number are they? They were probably like nine or ten, I think, if I remember. It was on Reddit, so you can yeah, just blame. Canada. Literally, just Google top top fifteen markets in the NBA, and a Reddit link will pop up. Um, that's what I'm really I'm basing all of this off of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good team. The Rockets got Kawhi Pat Leonard, Bev back. Jason Tatum and Andre Drummond. Oh yeah, and they got sim. Yeah, <laughs> they got some good stuff. They also have Randall. They, they have Ibaka. They have Nance. They're a big team also. They got Kyle Anderson, which is also nice. I really like him. Uh, the Spurs, they got screwed. Ooh, they're like 17, 18, which is rough. Because you'd think, you know, the yeah. Spurs have been good for like 20,000 years. That they'd do good. Phoenix. Oh, that's it. That's Phoenix a getting a nice break here. Uh, Westbrook, they, they have Azonia, which is... <laughs> you know, person. when you got Westbrook, Dwight Howard, and Porzingis, you settle, right? I wonder how that team would do. Yeah, and of course, like, I think after all these years, the teams would probably even themselves out as yeah. far as, like, hey, I have five setters. Let's trade one for a point guard. Like, eventually, they'd, they'd, they'd fix things. Thunder got screwed. Timberwolves are done. Shane Portland's... Larkin starting. <laughs> you know, that's bad when Shane Larkin is your starting point guard. Um, what is that name? <laughs> which one? Oh, good. good. Well, I, I can't even Michael try it. Michael I, I think they just call him Big Mike. Even though he's not that big, he's a guard. Uh, Golden State, surprisingly, a top 15 market. You wouldn't think so. Yeah, no. But unfortunately, you know, we, we're trying to solve the problem of Cleveland and, and Golden State going to the finals every year. This isn't going to help. It's going to help for Cleveland. But it's not going to help for the Warriors. Uh, Markel Fultz, Rosen. Uh, they have Jokic. They have Lou Williams off the bench. Oh, best Bradley. six man in basketball. Oh, and they got uh, Zaza came back. They got Zaza back so he can injure everybody. Oh, um, and they got Lance Stevenson, the wrecked LeBron. Start, start like blowing everyone. Yeah. <sighs> Not the <laughs> other way. <laughs> um. Wait, did we see Le LeBron yet? Yeah, LeBron was on the Clippers. Oh. Remember? He was on yeah, the LA. Yeah. The other LA. Yeah. And then the Wizards. The, they got Dragic. Bleh. That's not a real. It's <laughs> not a real name. Got Devin Booker, oh, KD. KD and Green King. You would have think KD like. He was supposed to go to the Wizards uh, during the last offseason before he kind of, you know, did that whole thing. Austin Rivers, Kyle Parker. Kuzma, Dennis Smith Jr., who in, you know, a couple years will probably replace Dragic, who will probably be done in a few years anyways. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do this off cameras. We're going to simulate the season, 
And then we're gonna it go to the be next a nice part. Of big divide. Yes, it will be. Wait, so is the East or like top 15 and West bottom 15? Or reverse? Just wait. We'll be back. One sec, guys. So, LeBron gets the MVP. Kind of saw that one coming. Not really. This is kind of kind of gonna be crazy. Oh, ben Simmons. Hashtag not a rookie. Hashtag not a rookie wins rookie of the year. You can tell we're from Massachusetts. <laughs> Kyle Sorry. Lowry got six minutes. Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Because he had to play behind Chris the, Paul. The, the team with... No. What team? Yeah, it was Chris Paul. Oh, okay. So the team... Let's see. The Raptors got number one this season. They're the ranked number one overall. Kyle Lowry is starting point guard for the number ranked, number one ranked overall team in the East. Is now the sixth man of the year <laughs> once we put them all together. Uh, Giannis, defensive Equal. player of the year from the, from the Mavs. And most improved, Jamal Murray on the Celtics. Who is now an 82. When he was an 81, so not bad. And then uh, Jeff Hornacek, the coach of the year for the Knicks. Yeah, the Knicks were a good team too, huh? Yeah, they must have been first place. Yeah, the they. Season. Yeah. Oh yeah. So. It was right there. All right, so now that it says it right there, who do you think got second? Because we know I'm we were sure. watching it, and the Sixers got seventh. Because we were oh. watching on their screen. I don't know. I didn't see the Knicks going first. I forget who was on each team. I really liked, I think the Clippers might be too, because of Maybe. LeBron. But also the team that had, um, I forget which team it was. Yeah, I should have memorized all these teams too. All right, it was the, Second place Bulls. the Bulls. The Bulls were a good team. The Clippers didn't make the playoffs. LeBron got MVP. But their MVP. On, on wow. All right, so let's take a look at these things. So what we're not going off of, by the way, the overall, because the overall standings also take into account um, the other conference. Yeah, the, the, the bad teams, right? So how did the good teams do against good teams? So, exactly. So New York, 36 and 16. So they, they were pretty good. They did they did good in general. They were their first place overall, first place in the conference, not bad. They didn't take advantage of the other teams. Um, no, they Chicago didn't lose Bulls. Once to the other conference. Yeah. Wait, where does it say that? They had Easter? 16 losses in total, and they all came from the same conference. They didn't lose once to the East. Yeah, you're. <laughs> the Bulls lost three times to the East then. That makes sense. I was looking for that stat up on the screen. It wasn't there. So the Bulls, the Suns, the Rockets. The Rockets only lost once. Yeah. So this is actually pretty close to the actual win loss. It kind of only flips around. So if you go to conference, all of these teams with the that are in the playoffs are still there. That's interesting. I didn't think that would happen. I thought it'd be more like, huh? So I what did I say? The Atlanta <laughs> Hawks, the best worst team, the worst best team yeah. in the NBA. Unfortunately, all these teams that are still bad, still did bad. That's just coincidence. That's really bad. Well, yeah, Lakers. Bad. The Suns are now the third best team in the world, it's, which it's is about time they came. Yeah, which is nice. And the Knicks did really good, too, for... I don't know what where they ended this year. They didn't do all that great. But that's, I don't know. Let's look at the worst, worst, worst team. Yeah. So in the Eastern Conference, it was the, oh, the Pelicans. Bells. At least they got 18 wins. Alex Caruso was their starting <laughs> point guard. If you know who he plays for, then you're a better person than I am. Let's see where he does play. Oh, I won't even say, because it'll say he played for the oh, yeah. Pelicans. Um... The best worst team in basketball is the Portland Trailblazers with Gajun Bay, Tom Bryant, Swanigan, Jakar Simpson, and uh, yeah, everybody else that you don't know. So this is actually shows kind of what I thought, not actually the opposite of what I thought it was going to be. Um, so, I mean, that means that we don't have to like figure out, oh, who's actually the best team because all the top eight teams are, you know, where they're supposed to be. If we simulate the playoffs, all right, so oh, Rockets, Rockets done, Sixers are done. Uh, I mean, all right, so the Warriors are done. The Wizards are done. And now, so think of this as the conference the, the conference finals right now. Mm -hmm. So you got the Knicks are out, the first seed's oh. out. And the second I'm, seed's I'm, let's out. Let's go Suns. And then the Nuggets and Trailblazers. So then, yeah. Come on, Suns. Suns and Raptors. The Raptors finally beat Re LeBron. But then well, again, LeBron didn't, didn't even make him. the playoffs, <laughs> so like that's also helps. Um, let's sucks. simulate the round and the rap yes, the Raptors get swept, swept the again. The <laughs> they can't 
seem to beat that. Alright, if if the Grizzlies somehow I mean the Spurs somehow beat this. See the I knew the Spurs would be able to do something. Pop How do we there. switch? Oh, there we go. 32 and 50. So they got Ronnie Price, Deron Hillard. <laughs> ended up back on the same team. He didn't even know that he played. Zach Collins, probably their best player. Um Let's see. They got Rakeem Christmas. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> got some 59 overall yeah, people. That's they that actually well. digress worse because <laughs> they're at least 65 when they got into the team. Let's see if they can take a game. No, no they, they cannot take a single game. The Wait, Phoenix so Suns. Kristaps gets the MVP. Okay. That's not bad. Um, I think we got what we were looking for here. I think um, if this were to happen in real life, you'd get rid of every team that's never won a championship and move Thunder back to Seattle. <laughs> no, in I a mean, perfect world. That would be so nice. In a perfect world, we, you know, we would do that. But, um, all right, guys, thanks for watching this video, and uh, see you guys next time.